Let's, uh, let's see where people are from. Give me a share if you're from London. <laughs> My name is Emmanuel Sanubi. Thank you very much, guys, and good night. Thank you. When you clap underneath that, it looks like you really like this haircut. That isn't, that's quite high up as well. Ahoy there, matey. Welcome to Captive Audience, the show that unleashes stand-up comedy into the wild. Hello, ma'am. How are you In doing? this episode, these three comedians, Emmanuel Sonubi, Huge Davis, and Damon Bamra, will surprise members of the public with stand-up comedy. Ladies and gentlemen. This costs 17 pounds. But can they win over these tough crowds? Our comedians will score each other's efforts. The winner will set the losers a hilarious forfeit. Cowabunga. This episode takes place at Raven's Barber Shop in central London. A barber shop is one of the few places where a British person will make small talk with a stranger. But only because they have a razor to their throat. There's no way to know how this is going to go. I've never been to a barber's, but I imagine the missing thing was comedy. I'm looking to alienate every single person that comes into that goddamn shop, man. I would really like to see someone laugh that much, their head flies back and they shave their head. First up, it's Emmanuel Sonubi. I can't stop looking at his yeah. bicep. Yeah. It's f***ing massive. Yeah. I often think about that when he tells jokes. Yeah. I'm like, laugh. Yeah, just laugh. And you won't feel the strength of them. Um, Hello, I'm Emmanuel, and I'm here to kill you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage your host, your MC, don't break eye contact. Welcome, Emmanuel Sanubi. You, you, normally you clap when they come, walk onto stage. No, no, it's me, but you've got it. You've got it. You've got, you've... <laughs> so let's, uh, let's see where people are from. Give me a share if you're from London. Whereabouts are you from? From uh, Beckersfield. Beckersfield, whereabouts is that? So you could have given me a cheer from London. Why? Sharon's fun. Guy with a beautiful beard, give me a cheer. See that? Give me a cheer if you're up for a good time. Cheers. Don't say cheer. Woo! Okay, let's do it together. Woo! Yeah! There we go. Now we're ready for a good time. I used to be a pirate. Funny fact, do you know why pirates are called pirates? Uh cause they are! <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, this isn't going how I thought it was going to go. You were going <laughs> to... What are you talking about, man? Um, so how old are you? But, do you know what? You don't look it. I was going to go sort of mid-twenties. I looked at you and I thought, this is a guy who's sort of halfway through his masturbating career. I thought that was it, but you're close to the end of it now, aren't you? 33. Yeah, it, not, not as fun. Do you remember when you were young and it was like playing with your best friend, like, all the time. Then you get to your 30s, and you're like, you don't see them all the time. When you do see them, it's nice, but you just blame them for everything that's gone wrong in your life, right? My name is Emmanuel Sanubi. Thank you very much, guys, and good night. You know what? I'm saying a different name when I leave. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying Phil Wang. <laughs> Thank you. When you clap underneath that, it looks like you really like this haircut. Do the clap again. That isn't, that's quite high up as well. He's a striking presence. I think immediately he gets 50 points for that because I'm kind of scared of him. So I think we start. So you're giving him 50 because yeah. you're just scared that if you give him anything less, he'll what? Do, do you want to risk it? The bit yeah. where he went behind someone's head yeah, was a bit mad. It was terrifying. I think the jokes weren't good. The pirate joke, you're kidding me. He had some good moments. He shocked a few people. Uh, we're going to give Emmanuel a 62. 62. Yeah. Next up, it's Huge Davis. I like the way that people are thinking there's a guy that's just coming to the hairdressers with a keyboard. <laughs> Hi, man. Uh, it's, a, it's the keyboard. Hello. Hey, man. Do you want me to sing you a song whilst you have your haircut? I want you to. Yeah, would you like a song whilst I yeah. sing you a haircut? Is that all right? Do you want to hear a song? No, not really. We're just chatting. Okay, cool. I'll just go on standby then. Like 
Oh, no, no, Charge, it's, it's on the house, man. This is what happens when you film in London. We don't talk yeah. to each other. No, we don't, yeah. Hey, look how scared he is. Oh, right, cool. So this is a song um, for, for my wife's anniversary. Yeah. It's called I Didn't Have Sex With Jeremy. Yeah, OK, here we go. Out on a trip with Jeremy Walking by the cliffs so peacefully On an adventure having a great time Beautiful sun in the beautiful sky Unfortunately, Jeremy fell off a ledge. I grabbed his hand and saved him, and then our eyes met. We were breathless and wet. There was a moment of tension, but we 100% didn't bang each other in a dark cave. I didn't suck him off, he didn't scream out my name. I didn't feel alive like never before. I didn't suck off Jeremy on the cave floor. It was a relief that we didn't have sex Because we are both married and completely straight It wasn't that day, that day that Jeremy said It wasn't that day, that day that Jeremy said I'm not sure I can live like this We've been slamming in this cave for over 10 years And I'm gonna tell my wife Cause I'm losing my mind <laughs> And I'd rather be dead than pretend So I didn't Kill Jeremy in that cave I didn't smash his head with a rock on the floor I didn't cry for hours for the love that I cherished I didn't cut his body into four separate pieces I didn't throw his body down a shaft in the mine And I've forgotten about him and I'm doing just fine. Your look at me there was like so like you wanted me to leave like I've never had that before. I think you might Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you know? Do you do you want another song? No, I'm good actually. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. You had a mixed reaction. You normally your your enthusiasm will make the crowd live up to that enthusiasm as well. Yeah. And he's so laid back. It made it look like he really meant the song. And there's not a doubt in my mind. There's someone who will watch this show. I think and their uncle Jeremy has been missing for ten years, and the penny will drop. <sighs> I'm going to say fifty-five. Why do you hate him? Just above average. Why do I hate him? Why is he a criminal? I'm gonna go 75, meet you in the middle for 65. I think that's fair. And now we have Damon Bamra. If you saw a man with a turban on, <laughs> head, oh, what is like? like? We're about to see someone renounce their fate. <laughs> yes, mate. How's it going? Can I be honest with you, though? I've never been to a barber before. I swear. It's because I'm Sikh. In Sikhism, in my religion, we, we don't cut our hair. Yeah, so it feels like blasphemy. You know what I mean? You, are you Muslim, bro? So me being in a barber's is like you being in like a like a bacon factory or something. Yeah, kind of. Like a double amputee going to Foot Locker. Like a diabetic man going to M&M World. Can do nothing there, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've never cut my beard at all, not even a trim. Not... Not even my eyebrows, bro. Like, are you trying to say something? So being here, I feel like I'm a, I'm kind of like a barber's wet dream because I got so much hair. But also, you can't touch it. So at the same time, I'm a barber's nightmare. You know? It's, uh, it's like giving you guys blue balls. I'm sorry. Take you to. How much? What do you think? A year? Maybe. A year? Oh my God! You said it was impressive. You think it only took a year? This took me 29 years. I'm 29, man. I'm loving it. You know you do a gig and you look out at the crowd, you're yeah. like, I don't want him. He does look like at any moment he's going to get up and glass him. That's great. I come out of here, I feel younger, I'm better, my wife likes me more. Your wife likes you more? Because your hair? Yeah. That does make sense, because when I wear different coloured turbans, my wife likes me more. <laughs> They're like confidants for you, right? We have a chat, he knows me. Yeah, see, this is what I feel like I missed out on, man. I never grew up with a barber's. That's why that's I go for pedicures now. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> These days, feet picks go for a lot of money. You know that, right? Ooh, I've got a teenage daughter. I'd just be thinking that would be a worst nightmare. That would be like abuse. Wait, wait, wait. How did, how did we bring your teenage daughter into this? I did not bring that up. What? Yeah, to you, man. We've got to stop. 
There's no way these people are coming back to this barber's ever again. No, this barber has lost a lot of money today. I think he did the best out of all three of us. I think you're wrong. You yeah. think, well, you think you did the best? What? I'm not going to say that. OK, yeah. But he got some lovely laughter with and had a... And, not genu and genuine laughter too. Like, yeah. So if he got 50 each, I'm giving him 40. I'm going to give him 35. Because the, it's the, the conversations as well, there was times when you were like, right, we're not watching comedy anymore, we're just watching two really good friends. 75? 75, I think it's a pretty, pretty good score. That's a solid score. Yeah. And the winner is Damon Bamra. Obviously. Ah! Come to a barber's takeover immediately. OK, so since I get to decide the forfeit, what I think I'm going to do is get you guys to put these bad boys on. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Beautiful you know boys. Is it right? Is that right? Is this right? Yeah. Is No, no it's not no. right. I look like I've had a breakdown. I mean, yeah, you do look like you've had a breakdown, but you look slightly less intimidating. Ugh. I left my keyboard. I left my dignity. Yeah.